So today we are checking out Felix and Harold. Look at him go. He's like the little CD thing that people scream at whenever it hits the corner and goes back. So I believe the way that this guy basically- Oh my god! <laughs> I just witnessed a murder! Oh no! Um, the way this works is whenever I shoot uh, this guy, I'm assuming Harold, right, heads in that direction and kind of crushes everybody. However, I do not have tears myself and he needs to get the, the crush for it to do some real damage. He can kind of just breeze past an enemy and it won't really do that much, you know, like, oh, but it's okay. So it seems really cool. I did not get to play this when it first came out and I'm super excited to. I've been wanting to. Golden Razor is actually kind of good here. This is going to be a juicy one. Grab your snacks, go get a drink, go get some popcorn. Or fully immerse yourself in the Binding of Isaac video today. It's gonna be juicy. I do really like that. How oh man, it feels good. <laughs> See, I uh, my okay. The thing is, is that I love how it feels to play this character, and I hate that. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna need some balls today. Thank you very much. I, it's literally nothing to do with the mod itself or Felix, but Harold, I don't know. You guys know my take already on grimaces in, the, in Gideon, right? Multiple thousands and bajillions of hours in Isaac, and yet for some reason I just cannot deal with stone grimaces. <laughs> so having the ability to control one as a character is off-putting, but I will say that's pretty cool. Larry Jr., this is gonna be brutal, straight up, goodbye. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not playing the Binding of Isaac. I'm creating saw traps. All right, let's go straight to the curse room right away. Oh my god! <laughs> that is an awesome detail. What? He just slams down from the ceiling, dude. That is actually awesome. Okay, so we do need more damage. I'm obviously assuming that more damage will give Harold more damage, right? Ow. Uh, because we are no longer one-shotting those uh, champions, and that is concerning. I'll take the blind here for spider, baby. It's not that good, but okay. I will take the leech. I'm not gonna use the pertho there. I just, you know, I'd rather use it on a more valuable pool. So I'm wondering, right? What one of the coolest things about Isaac for me is the cosmetic changes Isaac always gets, not just his tears, but his entire character as he picks up the item, right? I mean, this character is literally called Felix and Harold, so they're all one character. Who's gonna wear the camo undies is all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm putting that out there. <laughs> I'll take the saw. I, guess, I can't believe I just said. Uh, I can't imagine that guy with camo and he's, I'm not gonna lie. I suppose it's not like I don't have any items. Uh, I do have a couple and it looks like it's changing Felix, not Harold, which I guess makes sense, right? All that hushy experience from my past lives came up to this one entire moment for me to be the absolute Harold mastermind. Cost time you're going down. Oh my god, you can really push bosses too, huh? Wow, <laughs> they're actually just like playing tug of war down there. That's kind of cool. I didn't think you'd be able to push just whatever boss he wants. I guess he can't push a stationary one, right? So things like Gertie and the gate probably wouldn't get pushed around, but that was really cool to see. Was not expecting it. Not gonna go devils, just gonna go down. Oh, Harold, where are you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like the little noise he makes too. Just like, rah. Yeah, you get him, Harold. Good job. Okay, that guy actually is uh, on purpose, malicious. That guy knew exactly what he was doing. He is alive in the code. He is experiencing Wreck-It Ralph currently and he needs to be saved. I refuse to believe an NPC did that to me. Oh, interesting. So you are supposed to use Harold to uh, get rid of poops as well, right? I guess that makes sense. How else would you be able to do it as Felix? Felix really seems pretty useless. The only reason they exist is just to get, you know, HP. Kind of works similar to like a Tainted Forgotten in that sense, right? But it kind of rolls reverse, which is cool. Shop? Ooh, can join? Sure. I really want the rewind. I might. We'll, we'll see. I, I hope I get the money for it because uh, Glowing Hourglass is pretty cool. I imagine you should also just stay out of the way of Harold wherever he's deciding to charge. So there was a murder off screen. I heard it. Just because, you know, he is pushing the enemies while uh, grinding up their guts and uh, their health bars. So you probably don't want to accidentally touch them. I, I also like that there's a little indicator. You can kind of see it just to show where he is in the room. You know, if he's off screen, like let me walk out there. You can see it kind of. There you are. Very useful and very much needed considering this is your only source of damage, right? You do want to know where he is at all times. It's like uh, when you lose track of your Ludovico or something. Ugh! Like when you lose track of your Ludovico, it's just like terrible. I, I don't know where it is. So the uh, icon is actually very much appreciated. That would actually just be good for Ludo in general, I think. Long gone are the days 
days of me losing my singular tier in the dark room and not knowing where to shoot. So the blood damage does go pretty hard. It seems like the initial uh, hitting of the enemy doesn't actually do the most damage. It's when the slam happens that you get the burst damage. So that's actually kind of interesting. I don't think range would work with this character at all, right? Oh, I mean, he put on, he bought on lipstick, so I would say it worked perfectly, actually. <laughs> What about in here? Sanguine Bond. Ooh. I mean, I'll take it, but my issue is I don't know if I even really want to do Mirror Dimension. Uh, don't get me wrong, I feel powerful, but this is a little bit scary of a character to play with only two hits, right? I'm gonna do it, by the way. Alright, big reveal. Harold versus Blub, except this time it's Harold with lipstick, so they're automatically more powerful, right? Jesus, he is demolishing this guy. He is constantly tracking Blub, and he is not letting him out of his sight. <laughs> Slam it into the wall, Harold. Thank you. That was a very clean fight. HP up. This was actually worth it. I feel better. Small detail, but you can actually hear the sound effect of him <laughs> bonking against the walls. I kind of like that. Arcade? Ooh. I'll spend a half a heart. Maybe I get a lucky peek at what you're selling? Absolutely not. Oh, I thought he was going to chuck it in my face. A shop. Not what I was expecting. I was straight up expecting the boss, to be real. But I think I can make it work. Please? Oh, greed. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not too mad. Wait. <laughs> I found an infinite in the body of Isaac. <laughs> an actual infinite combo. GG, you're done. Shake my hand. You know what we could do? We could lock in this bone heart and just so that we have a bit of protection. I feel better about my deal chance. And we'll blow up the blood bank because these always have a little bit of a higher chance of giving hearts. There you go. Fill it in. And I feel better. All right. Ah! Why'd you bring the explosion to me, dude? Anything? D12? Oh man. I actually feel like the D12 could be a bit better. I don't know, this could be stupid. But I never get to use it, and it's gonna be more fun than me basically never using Golden Razor because I want to save my money. All I gotta do is beat this without getting hit. Unless I can get a soul heart for a freebie. I'm betting on fate! Yes! And also a heart fin. Okay, alright, alright. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go blow up that keeper. Now, if you were to ask me, hey, Matt, where the hell is the secret room? I'd say you're crazy if you think I'm ever going to find it. Oh my god, this is one of those stupid secret rooms. I'm not going to be able to blow up a keeper. Greed is gone, you blow him up and kill him. He does not count. There's no way. Where's the secret room? Huh? Oh my god, I know. I know exactly where it is. It's in the stupidest spot ever. Hold on, check this out. Check out my Binding of Isaac powers. What? Everyone totally believed that that was the secret room, right? I felt the energy from the past or the future, depending on how you look at it. I swear, I, I felt you guys like raise your hands. Give me energy. This is the secret room. I, I felt it. And yet somehow that wasn't. I'm so surprised. Well, you know, all that for nothing. If we just managed to randomly get the uh, angel no matter what. Okay, well, now I'm sad. Here we go. I fall, and you fall also. Let's go find another angel deal. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and re-roll that skull into a purple fire for you. We just thought that we'd make the game a little harder. I spy with my little eye a bit of a shop, and it's selling another guy! I don't want another guy! This is so satisfying, actually. <laughs> Holy, it just feels good to play as him. Here we go. Angel, cool. PJs are perfect. I need extra health. And... Oh! Thank you! Feeling much better. Knock this angel around. Boom to the right, boom to the left, boom to the- <laughs> Harold is actually secretly sans, by the way. Okay, if ever I needed something more defensive, I see. Ask and ye shall receive for the binding of Isaac for me today. I'm expecting something absolutely juicy. Gas. Incredible. Another positive word. Ooh. I mean, honestly, I do like it more than D12, right? We'll, we'll, we'll take it. Thank you. Free curse room as well. Oh my god! Alright, this is, uh, I should have walked in here first, I guess. I, how could I have ever known? My bad. Was this, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back quality fours, right? Wafer, holy mantle, flip. What the hell? Thank you, video game. All right, where to first, Harold? Where do you want to go? Looks like you want to go right, understood. Oh, what the hell? Harold, what did you just sniff out, boy? <laughs> Harold's an absolute G, 1% planetarium, what? We got a free Neptunus and a free Jupiter. Oh, look at that. What, it actually works? I can't believe it. Harold actually gets tears stored up, and he spritz them out whenever I throw them around now. Wait, this character is awesome! Hello? <laughs> I'm not really gonna bring up the conversation of how his relation to Gideon is, okay? I'm just gonna put it out there. I know people have been wondering about it. Listen, for all I know, this could be his, like, little stepson. I don't know. This is actually secretly Gideon, uh, just, like, in condensed form. <laughs> 
He's here to torment me. I wonder how Hush would work. Oh my god, I kind of want to try. Because Hush is not a stationary boss. You know, you can move Hush around. He is 100% affected by knockback. He'll eventually return to where he's supposed to be. But he can get knocked around. And what seems to be the only like prerequisite needed to have Harold push around a boss is if they're not like hard-coded stationary. So is he just gonna run into Hush and push him to the one wall? Ooh, technology. Is technology gonna do anything with Harold? I don't think so. Oh my god, it does. And it synergized with the Neptunus. So now we actually have just a full-on synergy. That is actually sick. He's throwing out like a Neptunus technology like combination. Well, let's go test out our new and improved Harold. I don't think Red Mom is going to be the perfect playing. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Red Mom is like the ultimate Harold counter, no? All she does is stomp down. I need to slam things into a wall to deal damage, like, uh, you know, Doomfist or something. Dead by Daylight Whisker. This is, uh, is going to take a while. Uh, it it's going to be easy, though. Hold on. God, I love being able to fast forward about, like, five seconds into the future. Don't you guys? Just, you know, cut out all the filler. Let's be real here. Is that a rainbow champion lump? Is that literally probably the worst enemy I've ever seen in Isaac and I'm not exaggerating. Wow, that actually is. That is a rainbow champion lump. Thank God I'm not a normal Binding of Isaac character and I have this floating like head with me. Cause how the hell am I supposed to deal with you normally? <laughs> I've never seen a worse combination of enemies. Rainbow champion lump is crazy. I- I'm OP! <laughs> and I can't kill him! There you go, thanks spider. Dropped a bunch of things too, a telepills. Oh, hi, it's the boss. Yeah, just- just keep slamming into the wall. <laughs> he'll uh, he'll tuck her out eventually, just- just keep doing that, don't worry about it, Harold. Cool, ball advantages, come over here, we have flip available. You know what, might as well, because guess what, INCUBUS! So what happens with Incubus? It says that I have two, but it looks like I only have one. Is it just like, a little bit of an indication that hey, you have double damage? That might be exactly what it's doing. They might literally physically be stacked on top of each other and it's trying to indicate that by the, you know, little thing there. We'll know immediately. We'll, we'll be able to tell if my damage is way higher. It, uh, seems like it. Well, I'm sure it did something because they wouldn't give an indication if there wasn't, right? So, whatever it's doing, I'm sure it was great. Just finished Mario Bros. Wonder. Absolute peak. Highly recommend playing it. Definitely feels like a true sequel to Super Mario World. My only gripe with it is that it's not longer, but I understand that it shouldn't be longer for the sake of being longer, right? No reason to pad out your games with something that isn't utter peak. That's how Nintendo always likes to do it, and I respect it. But it was a fun 100%. It was, uh, it was a very, very, very good game, and I recommend people play. Next game I'm waiting for is uh, probably Mario RPG, right? As well as, uh, oh my god, the WarioWare game. Oh my god, wait, a part of me actually wants to make a video. <laughs> that game is gonna go so hard, dude. Oh my god, are we gonna make Hush? I don't think we can, guys. I don't know if we're gonna make Hush, guys. Actually, I, I, I just realized we were late, dude. Any other character with, like, this kind of build? Yes, but not, not this one. <laughs> you are taking too long. Yeah, no, there's no way, actually. Oh man, that sucks, we were a little bit off. That's what I was talking about, right? It seems like a stationary boss that doesn't take the slam damage. It's just really hard to kill. Oh well, I'll hold that. Let's go down. Ooh, a bunch of chests here. Maybe something good. Teleport! Oh! Uh, we have conjoin. We have conjoin? Does it do anything? No, it doesn't, I don't believe. It also has a bug of a Lyle, which, uh, I guess bookworm? Ugh, I guess. Sure. Not gonna use the Sanguine Bond at all. Let's just go. Alright, let's activate Sesame Street mode. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and die real quick. Also take this Herald to the face. You can move around this Satan, I'm pretty sure, right? Left and right? Yeah, you can do anything with him. So he's gonna be easy. Uh, this leg phase is gonna be really hard. I'm sorry, since when can you just go halfway across the screen? I understand he's Satan and his demonic powers and all, but I don't know, I've never witnessed that. <laughs> Wait, you can move these legs? What? Okay, cool, my bad. I was incorrect. Don't need delirium, though. Alright, boom. Hello, Harold, once again. Uh, don't need that. Oh, this actually has a, uh, a unique synergy with Harold. You can see the uh, item descriptions, right? So, uh, in the workshop, it specifically said it's highly recommended you have item descriptions on, because it'll tell you if it has a synergy with Harold. So, you know, since this does, we'll just take it. I don't really need flight this late into the game. I don't care about any of these, actually. So let's just move on. You know what I should do is I should actually take Azazel's Rage, right? Because this is a way for me to get some form of brimstone. And then I guess, I don't know, but assuming this works, right? My theory is that we don't need to get brimstone to see what brimstone would do with Harold. We just need to have some form of brimstone. Sometimes I get lucky, you know, playing a different character. 
character and off on like sulfur. Same applies here. If Azazel's rage procs, we should be able to see what Brimstone does. Open this chest, Sumptorium. I'm actually straight up curious. How do you work? Uh, you work by just spawning a clot who can actually shoot. Okay, good to know. Okay, slamming bosses from left to right has got to be my favorite new thing that i found with, like, this character. Oh, it doesn't work? Oh, it doesn't work! I thought that I was gonna be smart about it. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna sand, like, chuck you from left to right. <laughs> Gotta be my favorite new mechanic. Just, like, go slam into each wall. What about you? Bob's Curse? Don't think this would do anything. Didn't see a cosmetic change on Harold. Oh, that was an absolute wombo combonian, right? The mega blast into the slam into the wall, dude. Forsaken is actually in a coma currently. This is all a dream. Exact same wombo combo. That's actually my, one of my favorite things I've found about this character so far. The Azazel's Rage Harold gameplay does go pretty hard, huh? And I think that should be it, right? Just this chest. Boom. Bird's eye. Do you do anything? This would be cool. Oh yeah, you spurred out fire now. Very nice. Well, I would say it was an absolute successful adventure, right? We found out more about Felix and Harold. They felt really good to play. Very unique character, never played anything even close to something like this. Still a bit of animosity because I can't stop imagining you as Gideon, but you know, I'll hold it off, I guess. Does Harold block shots? Wait, what? I didn't know that. That's really good. <laughs> And that'll be it for me. All right, go back to either unimmersing yourself by stopping to watch my videos or continuing to do so. Do whatever you need to do in GG's.